Jesus Christ, my fucking, my, uh, buddy messed with my microphone. Uh, what's, what's happening, everyone? Um, as you can see by clicking this episode, it's a short one. Uh, no, no, no like, big reason, just a bit, very, very insanely busy week. I'm literally doing this episode. Uh, jeez. Four, five hours before it's gonna be live for you guys to hear it, so that's cool. Um... Just a really fucking busy week. Um, and then next weekend's going to be very busy as well. And then hopefully it'll all die down uh, as things get nice and cooler out. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably be chilling more at home so that I can... I'll have more time for... I mean, I guess... I mean, it really isn't... I guess I really shouldn't say more time for episodes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like... It's, it's once a week, you know? So it's not like I like have... Oh, jeez, I, re- I do remember that, though. Earlier in this podcast existence i got i had like three four episodes done and like lined up for like the month <laughs> and now it's just like oh fuck and uh not like oh fuck i have to do this just oh fuck another thing <laughs> like fuck oh, i almost for fucking forgot um but yeah uh it was funny i was list uh what's what was i doing i was listening to this is this way. This is this will be a sad thing, but it's the truth. But it, it's it's not necessarily too sad. But I was listening to me and my girl were driving long distance, not not too long, a little like an hour fifteen minutes one way and then an hour fifteen minutes back, and uh, we were listening to music the in the beginning of the first ride. And like I kind of was like getting just like because we we've been driving so many times the, this past week, and I was like, hey, you want me to put like like a comedy special on? And she's like, yeah, sure. And so I picked the first one was Bill Burr. I think it was Paper Tiger, and then on the ride back, I opened up Netflix and I which one did I pick? Hold on, Bill Burr specials. It was the black and white one. I forget. <sighs> Dude, dude, oh god, oh my god, come on, just give me a list, just give me a fucking list, why is it, why, complete list, this is, this is just mayhem, I'm sorry you feel that way, which I thought was the one with the helicopter story, which I think is, we just didn't get to that, because I think there was still like 15 to 20 minutes left of the special by the time we turned it off, but anyways, I'm listening to it, and you know, I, most like comedy specials, I should I shouldn't say most. Eh, eh, a good amount don't age like well. Comedy is just it, comedy is different than music. You know, music. There are songs that you can overplay and overhear definitely, but I feel like no matter what, there's always those songs that you just love to hear all the time, or you love to hear that one part. Well, I mean, and if, I guess and. That's the thing. A comedy special is, you know, for the most part, an hour plus. There are half hour ones. Whereas music, you know, it's three, four, five minutes, you know, on average. So, so you know, I, I guess it's fair to say that's not a great comparison. A better comparison would be a whole album, you know, a comedy special versus a whole album. And I'm sh- sure listening to a whole album, you know, after the third, fourth, fifth time, you're probably like, eh. <laughs> It's not. It's not as good as when when I first heard it. So that'd be a better comparison. But like, that's always that always has always been a a comparison. Just because music and comedy, it's uh for the most part, it's uh it's audio, it's vocal. But um, yeah. So we were listening to the specials and we're laughing, you know, from time to time. But I could I could just hear like my. My same love for it wasn't the best. I didn't put on his, like, his, Jem was right. Like, his best two specials are the, um, so I want the blue background, the orange background. I'm not, I'm not fucking Googling that shit again. <laughs> I don't care what the name is. You can find, I think one's from, like, 2008, roughly. I, I, I forget the, ah, God. One of them, actually, one of the names on the tip of my tongue. But, um, it's, uh, so I didn't even put, put on his best specials. However, like, I could just hear it. I was like, all right, this definitely doesn't sound as funny as when I first heard it, which makes sense. However, I think one thing that, and it's funny because 
one thing that hurts Bill Burr's comedy, and by hurts I mean like is like a splinter because like he's kind of, he's one of my he's amazing, and the thing that helps is the fact that he's actually just a naturally funny person. Like when you hear him on podcasts, when you hear him on radio shows, it's like, Oh, this guy is just like a funny ball buster. Like he's really good at that. So one of the things that really helps him isn't really like the jokes he tells or what. It's just that he naturally is a funny person. But one thing that I would say hurts in the long run and doesn't hurt it to a detriment, just hurts it to a degree is that his comedy, a lot of times for the specials, at least, because you're hearing the whole thing, you're not. It's not like just a clip. Is that it's topical humor, and topical humor can get old. And I and the thing is with him and even other comedians, I don't think topical get humor gets old because, like, it's just it's relevant. Like it's relevant for that time. Like a joke in 2014 for stuff that's going on in 2014, it's relevant for that time. However, when you hear it in like you know 2023. It's like, oh, it's not relevant anymore, so it's not funny. No, I don't think that's the thing that hurts it. I think it's more so that it's some, you know, when someone's good at topical humor, usually, at least from what I like about it, is that it's, they have a, an original take. That's the thing that also makes people funny is that they're creative enough to have an original take on something. And so they have an original take on something. And that stands out more. It's and then if it's funny, then you know it's funny. But then hacky comedians will then start go. Oh well, people are laughing at this topical thing that's going on right now. Let me also jump on that. And then me, me, and, and then so many people just fucking water down the topic. And it happens so quickly because it's usually about a popular thing. So like, there's a big spike for it. You know, like all of a sudden news outlets are talking. I mean, like just, just hacky, like morning day people are making jokes on. And then it just, it dies because it's like, well, that, well, that like, that's not funny. It's like, it's like cheesy. It's like, like, it's like when something cool happens, like that kids are like, like, you know, um, the urban community you're talking about. And then like months go by and then like your mom's like talking about it. And like you as a kid are like, Oh, mom's talking about this. Now this isn't cool. On to the next. So I think that's what hurts it. So like in one of the specials, like he just kept saying the word triggered and I was cringing. Like it's 2023 and I'm listening to it. And like, it's fucking Bill Burr. He's like one of my favorite fucking comedians. And I'm actually cringing at parts of his special. But the thing is like, and it what like the thing is it wasn't as if when he was saying the word triggered it was like brand spanking new he didn't like invent it or whatever it was a obviously a really popular word even do I, I forget which special he was using it a lot in um i forget which one he did use it in one in one that i was like all right this is even old for him <laughs> but I, I definitely remembered. I was like, oh, yeah, but I guess when he used it back in this time, yeah, it was a popular thing. But the way he was saying it, I was like, oh, okay, that's, it's still a little, a little gay, but like whatever. But now, 2023 and hearing it, I'm like, oh, God, that was just that, – that, 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 it's like that didn't age well. However, uh, a lot of his jokes still have, so and that's why it's fucking, it's fucking funny. But, um, yeah, topical humor just doesn't – it just doesn't um, it doesn't age as well as um, other types of humorous things, uh, and that's just the way it is. But but it can but um, it can be really well. I guess one thing that's really cool is if you're an actual one thing that's good though is if you're a f- like he's. His type of comedy, it's also like observation. So it's observations on topical things and relevant things and just things that are going on in the world in his in, in that time. So that's that's always been a cool thing about his comedy too. Uh, one thing that's cool though and beneficial is you know, you always have new stuff to talk about. There's always stuff you know stuff going on, and you can make jokes about that, which is fun. You know, you don't want to like I don't I don't know many comedians I like that talk about the same thing yeah it's like it's like a director that just makes like movies about pot it's like wow yeah dude that was yeah 
I remember when that wasn't funny when I was growing up and you're still making movies about this. It's like, wow, that's fucking, no wonder I don't watch this shit. It's, and it's just like, yeah, it just, it's, you know, you, you could, you could be a featured act, you know, you could, you, you could just have like a 30 minute set that you're used to doing and do that for the rest of your life where you can just actually write new material. It's whatever you want to do, whatever kind of money you want to make. Um, you could, you can just make fun of fucking religion as like your whole fucking thing and just be that guy where, yeah, it was, you know, that was original in like the seventies and eighties. But like, if you actually want to still make those jokes in the 2020s and I don't know who is even laughing at that joke, those jokes anymore. Um, I guess just people who are just so anti-religious, they just like are so like brain retarded that it's like, Oh, well, he said something negative about that thing I hate. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. It's like I, that I just, I never, I, I guess I do that to an extent, but man, fuck it. Like, I don't, God damn, those people fucking are boring. They're fucking just corny, gay motherfuckers. Holy shit. I can't, I can't believe that exists, man. That fucking sucks. That, that really blows if you, that you can be that. A dole of a personality where it's like, I will only laugh if the things that I dislike are made fun of. Like, I can't believe that's like, I, 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 I just don't get that. Fucking hey, man, that's so weird to me. I don't under like, I, maybe I understood that concept when I was younger and I, I'm not acting like I'm mature cause I'm not at all. But like, what the f- like fucking hey man, what the fuck? Just fucking. Stop being a fucking fag. <laughs> just fucking laugh at, like, Jesus Christ. You can't laugh at one, like, you can't, like, you really can't have the same laugh when a joke's made at something that you like compared to something you dislike. It's just like, I don't get that. I will say, oh, actually, you know, to be fair, though, I will say um, one thing. The, the one thing that then is different to that for me is sometimes if I like something, I'm actually knowledgeable of that thing. So then if someone makes a joke about it, I be, will be confused because if the joke doesn't make sense, but then it, like that will be perceived as like, Oh, you just, it's just cause you, you, you're defending that thing. He's like, no, like, like if someone like you say it was a, a sport thing and they made a joke about like, I don't know, like, well, look at Eli Manning for he led the league at all time in interceptions. I'd be like, well, no, no, that's not true. He never did. He led the league three times for a season. He never led the, you know, lifetime. And it's like, oh, that's just because you're a fucking Giants fan. It's like, no, that has nothing to, I'm just saying the joke is not factually accurate. That's the reason why I'm defending it. I'm not, def- I don't know. And, and and because of that, I don't know if it's funny or not, because now I'm invested in defending this fucking bullshit stat that you just said. And then it's just like, oh my God. And like, well, you, you can't bring you anywhere, man. <laughs> it's the only thing. That's the only difference I think with me, at least, is when I get confused. <laughs> I'm like, wait, all right. Everyone stop. <laughs> turn. Everyone, heads up. <laughs> turn the computers off. We need to talk. I have no idea what's going on. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, uh, shit. What else? Oh, I did, um, shit, I wish Jen was here. Fuck, I could have told. I did Coke for the first time. That was, that was, uh, that was interesting. Um, I did it in a pretty good environment, which I like, you know, it was with my girl, but it was, it was her friends, you know, did, you know did, weren't bad people at all. Don't, um, but you know, like I probably, well, I wonder, nah, I probably would have been less comfortable with my friends. Cause then if I, I probably would have been more nervous. Like, oh man, once I freak out, I'm never going to, I'm never going to hear the end of it. The other people, I, I can just, I could fuck up so bad. I never see these people again, but, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, I just did two little lines. So nothing special. And I guess my heart was racing. My heart was definitely racing a little bit in the beginning, but I think that might've been more of the adrenaline of like doing it. I was, you know, nervous and excited at the same time. And then I didn't get like some super upper feeling. However, I don't know what I looked like from the people who weren't on it. Uh, but everyone else was fucking, first off, half of them were doing it. <laughs> and then everyone else that wasn't doing it was also smoking weed and fucking drinking and shit. Um, but uh, I did it and I would say like the the the, the beneficial 
or the positive feeling I got was again, I didn't get like super jittery, but I got how you it just I felt it like we we stayed up till 3 a.m. and I felt as if a good portion of that until it wore off felt like it was like 6 p.m. if that makes sense. Like I, I didn't I wasn't tired, but I wasn't like hyper. I just felt regular even though it was late and I know we did a lot already during the day. That was really the feeling I got from it. And um, it didn't wear off like too quickly unless I, I also just was awake from other stuff. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was all right, you know. I, I wasn't like, this is amazing. And I, again, I only did a very little bit. But uh, I mean, I'm happy about that. Yeah, I didn't want to fucking do a lie and then fucking start spazzing. <laughs> I'm already annoying. Uh, sober. So that was cool. I definitely wanted to do that. I, I want to try most drugs once. You know, I definitely know that like her friends and have done like ecstasy and Molly a lot. And I think she, I mean, not, th- I know she's done it before, but um, she eventually wants to do that with me. And I'm just like, yeah, like, I want that one. I'm way more nervous because I don't like being out of control. And that is a longer time period. I think my one buddy's like, yeah, it's around three hours. And it's like, fuck, man, I don't want to be uh, I, like, first off, you do those type of drugs when like, you're going to like club and have like a fun time. But like, part of me is like, I'd rather just be in my apartment and do it <laughs> because if I start fucking free, I always have to either shit or throw up when I start freaking out and mainly shit. And I want to be next to my to- toilet comfortable if I have to shit on like this, this drug or whatever. <laughs> But also, I heard like it makes sex amazing, so it's like, all right, maybe I should just try it once, um, in my apartment with her and just fucking, you just fuck all night. That'd be awesome. That's fun. that sounds way better than doing it around like a bunch of corny people at a club. Fuck that shit. Um, actually, I I really want to try uh, heroin once. Um, I more so want to try just be like, I, I want to try and then show you that I can't get addicted. It's just, and then and then. <laughs> I do it, and like a month later, I'm just like in an alley, like I just, I, I swear, I just need one more fix, and that's it. I wanted to do it for a month, not one day. I lied when I said one day. I really just want to do it, and then like a year later, all right, listen, I just wanted to do it for a year, and then <laughs> five years later, I'm on like the 80th season of Intervention. Uh, this was always a five year plan. I have a five year, I have a ten year plan. Five years do heroin. Ten years. <laughs> Talk about doing work. <laughs> but I don't, I, I, that one, see, first, you know what's weird? That one seems like less dangerous to me. Not, or I shouldn't say, le- well, I should It seems, well, I wouldn't, I would, if I were to mainline it, I would do it like as, as like white as possible. I would like, I would like, go to a hospital and get like sterilized needles and like make sure everything's tested. I'll Robin Williams, like tell me to fucking bring a refrigerator up some stairs, just some crazy ass shit. Uh, (laughs) so I feel like I would probably have to snort that, which I know someone who has. Um, but that one seems less because I just feel like it's such a downer. I don't know how long it lasts, but like, I feel like I could do as bare minimum as possible. Cause I don't want to die and then just be like, Oh, time to fall asleep and feel amazing. <laughs> like that's that. instead of just like fucking glow sticks and fucking, fucking whistle in my mouth. It's just like, Oh God, I don't want like, I like that shit, but I want to be sober doing that. Cause doing that while not in control makes me like, what the fuck? Get me out of this world. My head's spinning. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Huge, huge druggie, uh, which I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm really honestly not, I mean, just, I'm in my thirties. I felt like I did cocaine, which, uh, seems almost impossible when you live in the tri-state area. Oh, you didn't do cocaine when you were a baby. What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, I didn't know your parents wanted to raise a queer. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, like I said, this is a short episode. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, when things die down, I'll just start doing normal episodes again. Yeah, if you guys want some little gay state of the union address for the podcast. But that's about it. I'm going to go to bed.
it's been real. <laughs> I need some cocaine so I can stay up. Oh, yeah. If I did cocaine, I'd be able to do this a lot longer uh, so I can stay up. But, uh, yeah. You guys do your thing. Uh, I'm Audi and later.